Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, what you just saw was only a few of the many sheaths and pouches that my local leather maker has made for me over the years. And uh, for the past several years now, I've got um, emails and comments from you guys wondering where I got my sheaths made. I have always sent back that information, and I know that some of you have sent your knives and other um, things to my local leather maker and they have made um, sheaths and pouches for you guys and you guys have uh, been very happy so i want to do a, a shout out to them and put all the information available for everybody on the site uh, painted hills leather works is the name of the company and they came under new ownership oh uh, a few months ago. Shanine is the name of the new owner. And so I recently got together with Shanine and I said, hey, Painted Hills has always done all my custom leather work. Can you do um, the same thing that the previous owners have did? So I brought her out some of my knives. She went to work and I was just surprised like you wouldn't believe when I came back and she showed me what she had done and she said, hey, I improved on the design and she did the sheaths that she is making for my knives are now more functional and durable than they ever have been her work is just taking everything to the next level so let me start with some of my previous pouches <clears throat> give you guys an idea of what's available here's a pouch I had or a sheath I had done for my SCPR4 with the uh, ferro rod holder on it and a dangler so that you can uh, this is I have all my knife sheets done in danglers so that uh, when they're on the belt I can rotate them however I want but this was nice work this was a previous one that was done of course the sheath for my big SC Hunglis 2 again on a dangler back here you can see that I had a pouch on this one so that I have fire starter and a ferro rod leg tie down so that's the one that was done for my SC Hunglis 2 and whenever I'm out doing bushcraft I always have my folding saw on my belt this one will hold either the pocket boy outback edition or the Baco either one and I have that set up on a loop. My belt slides right through. I had pouches done for multi-tools. This fits a large Leatherman. And I deliberately had them put the belt loop up so it rises lower or rides lower on the belt. The snap pocket. Another large sheath that I had done for my Becker BK9. On the dangler again, pocket for a ferro rod, a little bit different design. And for carrying a small fire kit or a survival kit, I had this pouch made up that fits an Altoids tin just perfectly. I know a lot of you guys like to carry fire kits and mini survival kits, fishing kits in an Altoids kin, tin. So this little pouch holds an Altoid tin and slides right on your belt. And so these are all previous pouches that I had made. Well, let me show you what Shanine has done. Again, she has just taken the design to the next level. She used sturdier material. So this is, the dangler is much sturdier. It's more functional. She raised this piece up that holds the knife handle, which gives better balance when it's on the side. I mean, she just did all of these little fine detail work and I'm so impressed, but like, here's again, just one of the sheaths that she has made. You can see the back there, ferro rod all set up. And here's one I just picked up uh, yesterday. 
for my Becker BK-10. I had her do this one in a different color. So that, that's a nice saddle tan is what that one's called. So hangs right on my belt. This is much stronger than it ever was before. It balances better with this raised up higher. Just beautiful, beautiful fit. Look at that. Look how snug down that gets in there. And another one with a custom ferro rod holder. Again, this is her work. And a small one that will fit either my uh, Becker BK-16. It will also fit my SCPR-4, although it's a little long, but it still fits in there quite well. So sometimes if I have knives that are very close in the same size, I'll have her make a sheath that will fit both. And if you want to hang your hatchet, or you would like a sheath for your hatchet, she can do up something for your hatchet. Uh, this is a holder so that you can hang your hatchet off your belt or strap on your pack or whatever you would like. And she can custom make anything, by the way. She does um, holsters. I just got to look at a, some holsters that she's doing sir, for some retired law enforcement. Absolutely beautiful. Just gorgeous work. So if you're looking for a knife, a knife sheath, guys, something for your hatchet, something for your multi-tool, uh, Altoids tin holster, and she just did a leather holster for her husband, shoulder holster that rides right here. Painted Hills Leather Works right here in my hometown of Prineville, Oregon. Amazing work. I, like I said, she has just taken, the new owner has taken everything to a whole new level. So I wanted to come out here and I wanted to give a shout out her, to her company, to the work that she is continuing to do for me. Um, in fact, I got two sheaths that she's doing some upgrades on sitting in her shop right now. I'm going to put all of the contact information in the description. I just have one request. If you guys get a hold of her and you have her build you out a sheath or a pouch or a holster or, or something, just tell her you saw this video on Ochoco Bushcraft. That's the one thing I ask. Thanks, guys, and uh, again, just beautiful, beautiful work. Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft, take care.